This scooter here came in today. It's a Neo 6 scooter. This particular one is, is fitted with a status light, which you can see here. That's your status light. Uh, I've already checked, it's given five flashes on there. Um, and the diagnostic sheet says electromagnetic brake. So just to show you, you switch your key on, it'll start to flash. You wait till there's a wee gap and you'll start counting one, two, three, four, five. So it's got five flashes, another gap, and it'll flash again five times. And it'll do that constantly. So as I say, I've checked um, the manual on that particular uh, controller and that tells me there's an electromagnetic brake problem. Now this particular scooter has a disengaging lever on there so I know for a fact that um, the electric brakes on this side underneath the body panel uh, I most likely need to remove the wheel as well remove the body panel have a look underneath it just to do again a continuity test with some multimeter to make sure that uh, electric brakes working okay so it's definitely fault with electric brake so let me remove the body panel here and we'll have a wee closer look so I've, as you can see I've removed the body panel here together with the seat post that came off in the wanna um, didn't have to take the wheel off because we can see the electric brake here there's your motor there um, the wires go to the micro switch down here I always do a visual inspection on a scooter that has a micro switch that all cables are connected to the micro switch and sometimes what can happen is the cable comes off the the micro switch therefore it's not going to continuity so we need to check that and uh, what I'm actually going to do is it's the same connection as the other brake that I had so I think I'll quickly just undo these two cable ties here if you can see these cable ties, it's stuck in there. Uh, undo these cable ties and put another electric brake on it, and that most likely solve the problem. But what I always recommend to do is check the micro switches in here. Um, that's very important. There's here. What can happen here is, uh, with the cables being in there, you want to check to make sure that these are properly joined very important as well as that is see that we switch in there that's what gives it that contact very important that that switch moves in and out freely very important i can hear it clicking on and off there so i know that's working sometimes what can happen is a stone can get in there water can get in there and the jam so always check one that has a micro switch, if you're not like me, if you've got a spare brake handy to try, check that and also do continuity as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut that off and we'll do a continuity first before we check the new electric brake here. Okay, now I'm going to cut the cable ties. That's just one to do. Okay, that's our connection to the electromagnetic brake. What I'll do with that connection, I'll just put my terminal block on here. Make it easier to connect it. And what I'll do is I'll get my multimeter. Put it on continuity, which you can see. Continuity is that one there. No continuity. So there's either a problem with the electric brake or it's not going right through the micro switch. So the first thing I'll do is, I know for a fact I've got a new brake. I'm going to join the new brake up. There you go. I'm joining the new brake up and it's set in drive. Just going to switch the scooter on, press the lever to go, I'll try reverse, okay, you can see it's freed off, 
and you get the audible reversing tone there for the scooter to go in back it's not moving because that brakes on there and it's not letting the motor, motor move so before I go and buy another brake or fit another brake I'm going to take the wheel off and check just to make sure that there's not a problem with that micro switch I'll do that before I do anything rather than buy a, an expensive brake so I'll do that now Now that's me taking the wheel off, which is, uh, here's a wheel, this is a transaxle, this is a spindle, a drive shaft, this is where the Woodruff key would be, which is this here, uh, do not lose the Woodruff key, if you lose that, it'll no drive the, the, the drive wheel that locates in here, it is very dirty, it's been sent for a while, it took a, quite a few hits to get this wheel off, I'm going to give that a wee clean with emery paper before we put it back on again, um, I've got clear view now to the micro switch, and to be honest with you, I can actually already see that that micro switch there is not sticking out. I'll show you what I mean. We'll put continuity on again. There's a multimeter there. It's continuity set here. One connection. Two connections. Nothing happening whatsoever. Okay, so just let me hold this on here. And let's have a wee go here. Let's see if it'll just stick back. There you go. That didn't take long. So I reckon with it sitting, it's jammed in there. And it's working. So we know we've got continuity. We'll put it on the scooter and see how we go. I'm personally going to replace this micro switch anyway. Uh, maybe dampen this in there. What I don't want to do is give it back to the customer and say, oh, that's it sorted. And then the next week it sticks down again okay we don't want that to happen easy job unscrew phillips unsolder these connections here reconnect it reconnect it to the new micro switch resold it back on put the screws back in and then it should, should work okay okay right let me quickly put the switch on put it in reverse there you go disc is releasing and it's spinning away going in reverse and then forward sorted so what i'm going to do is because it's been sitting for a while, it's an old brake, I'm going to run this electric brake for half an hour to ensure that if I give it back to the customer, it's going to work all right. What sometimes happens with old brakes as well is when they've been sitting for a while, they tend to slacken off. The brake does not 100% disengage. It creates heat and causes um, the motor to overheat and coma uh, draw more current from the battery because it's not released properly but it may be fine it may not be but just in case before we send it back we're going to run it for half an hour and uh, what i'll do is i'll i'll come back in half an hour and give you an update now the scooter has been driving for half an hour it's been spinning away um i'm not actually happy this brake is very hot to touch indeed and it's not good so what's happening here is the disc in itself spinning and it, the coil's not releasing properly and the disc is spinning and heating up. It's actually causing a lot of heat transfer to the um, to the motor head itself. It will not be very good for the motor. And what can happen here is because the motor has to work harder, it's going to draw more current out of the batteries. Therefore, you're going to get less mileage and it could cause damage and eventually that will actually fail could cause damage to the inside of the the motor the aluminium piece here that holds the two brush units in here so because it's very hot to touch it's going to draw more current it's going to break down so what we're just going to do is we're going to replace the electric brake and uh, there shouldn't be a problem there 